my favorite words this year is transcendence. I recently read a new definition, a modern definition of this word, and they describe it as going beyond ordinary limitations. This is the perfect word to describe where I'm at in my current leadership journey with Toastmasters and in my business. As leaders, I believe we all need to often take time to look at ourselves and see where we are. Are we making the progress we wanna make? Do we need to up level or do we need to change course? And in my previous speech, I mentioned, I wanted to move from being a visionary leader to a transformational one in 2024. To comply with you know, the status quo, it to me is a life of, unchallenged inspiration. So transformational leader this year is my goal. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, welcome to From Vision to Transformation. Today, I will be talking about my personal journey in transitioning from a visionary leader to a transformational one. I want to leave my mark on not only the people I work with in Toastmasters and my clients, but almost anyone I engage with in the world. I want to go from creating the vision to actually transforming visions in real time. And I'll explain that to you today in my speech. We are going to cover the five characteristics that anyone needs really to be a transformational leader. I'll discuss the difference between what a transformational and visionary leaders are in the first place, and then I'll share my expected outcomes. All right, there are five characteristics to being a visionary leader. First off is vision. We have to have a vision, much like visionary leaders, but we have to take that vision and be able to use people to transform that vision into reality. Vision also needs to be done in a way where people feel comfortable that they have a leader looking at their individual characteristics, not just the vision as a whole in a company. Second, we need to inspire. Transformational leaders have to inspire people by being inspirational and by leading by example. Three is intellectual stimulation. I think it's really important to encourage people and innovate critical thinking and not only talk about doing things outside of the box, but really setting up a platform as a leader for people to bring those ideas and speak outside of the box. It's in those moments where we take the rules off of our meetings and we allow people to brainstorm freely and give them the stimulation to think, both intellectually and creatively, is when oftentimes the best ideas are realized. Individual consideration. One thing that's very different between visionary leaders and transformational leaders is that individual consideration is taken within each person in the group. For example, a visionary leader may come up with the vision for a project and then turn it over to the project leaders and they go. However, a transformational leader looks at each person on the team, looks at their own unique gifts and what they contribute, and they take that individual person and they transform them into the project so they have a unique role and their gifts get noticed during the time that they're working on the project. Empowerment. The last characteristic that I need to embody is empowering other people to take charge and to not feel judged when they're in meetings or that they don't have a voice or they're not heard, but to empower them and give them the situation and the environment to where their ideas can come to life in real time. In a supportive environment where mentorship and coaching is the first line of defense, if you will, for the team versus just giving them the marching orders and asking them to produce. Expected outcomes. What do I expect from this journey? I expect my desired outcome to have a positive impact on everyone I encounter in my Toastmaster group and the teams I'm leading with my individual clients. I encourage them to bring their thoughts to the table, we work out the vision, but then we transform that vision into an actionable plan. For example, one of my current clients owns her own IT company and she's a young woman, she's in her thirties and it's a dominated field. And she came to me and said, Kelly, I just don't have the confidence to speak at these meetings because all the men are looking at me and I feel like, and she used the word feel, 
that I don't have a voice. And I said, is that your own internal feeling or do you feel like they're projecting that onto you? And when we dove a little deeper into her unique situation, we found it was really projection that these people, not all of them thought she was incapable as a woman. Maybe a couple people had that egotistical view, but most of them didn't. She was internalizing her own feelings and assuming what the audience felt. And that's one big thing you can do when you're a leader is to determine what the feelings are versus the actual circumstance. And we all do it. When someone makes a statement, we internalize it and we automatically think we know what they're saying to us. And that might not even be the case at all. So it's very important to look at the feelings versus the actual statements made and then transform those thoughts. Sometimes they're not good thoughts. We have to transform them into reality. What was the perspective they were trying to reach? And in doing so, we were able to get achievable speaking results for her because we looked at what was bothering her in her own situation. We put action towards the transformation. I got her in front of groups of people speaking at her company. She practiced in real time speaking to people in the industry at industry events, not just one-on-one -on -one practice with herself and me on a computer. For her transformation, she needed to get in front of people that were like the audience that was bothering her so she could see in other circumstances, they were clapping when she was making her statements and they weren't judging her like she thought her internal audience at her company was. And she made the transformation of perspective. It's one of the best transformations I saw on a client last year. She was able to look at situations with the perspective of, is it true? Is it false? Is it crazy? Is it me? Is it them? And when you determine which situation you're in, then you can take that pressure off yourself and respond accordingly. And she had a magical transformation. So I ask you friends, when you're leveling up as a leader, what magical transformations do you want to make? Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster.